Clubhouse on Salt Lake City night, giving the Zion trip and Lisa Split a perfect 10. My first guest witness, things get ugly in Zion, but she's still serving us baby gorgeousness. It's Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Lisa Barlow. Hey, Lisa. The next guest performance is Divine on The Righteous Gemstones, airing Sundays at 10 on HBO and HBO Max. Give it up for actor, writer, and Bravo superfan Edie Patterson. Hey, Edie. Uh, also loved you in Knives Out. Hey, thanks. Yes. And you're a huge Bravo fan, I gather. Yeah. Yes. Fairly huge. Okay. Yeah. Do you count Lisa Barlow's in your sleep? Uh, yes. Yes. They're like, they're, <laughs> she takes the, the body of a sheep with her face on it and she jumps over fences. There you go. <laughs> and over at the bar in honor of National Pie Day, it's Greg Rails from Red Cave Bakery. Hey, Greg. <laughs> Stuff. Love a man that brings us treats. Thank you. Do what I can. What I Gorgeous. Can. Drinking game alert. My guests won't know it anytime you hear anyone say this word if you're 21 or over. Drink until you need Lisa's Louis Vuitton tread to guide you home from the bar. <laughs> um, so many questions to ask. I mean, what was going through your mind when Meredith started screaming through the Zion house in the morning? Oh my gosh. After the bus ride, I was like, not more of this. It was too much for me. It was honestly. wild. It was wild. Now, why go to her at 3 a.m.? and tell her that the women were questioning I, her, um, you know, whether the memorial happened. I didn't, actually. She was in Mary's room, and she was crying, so I walked her back to her bedroom because it was on my side of the house. The house was kind of big. Right. So I walked her over to her side, and I was comforting her. And then what I apologized for was that I talked about her sister on a sprinter van, and it made me feel bad because I was talking about how different people grieve, oh, and I was talking to her about how I grieved. I think that morning she conflated what Whitney had said to her the night before after the dinner with what I was talking to but her about. But do you not think that you were involved in the speculation about the I wasn't memorial? Specu I didn't feel like I was involved in the speculation about the memorial. For me, Meredith had called me. I had called Meredith the day we were leaving um, from Beauty Lab to go to yes. Vail. Yes. And she had said to me, um, I just stepped out of my dad's memorial, and when I hung up the phone, I was stressed about it. And Heather was thinking it was a different day. Heather okay. thought it was the day prior. Okay. So the, to me, I was right, and everyone else was confused. Right. <laughs> I know, but that seems yeah. to be a common thread with you. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. <laughs> well, I have facts. Uh, but I have facts. Like, okay. I love facts. All I right. mean, yeah, yeah. I, did, I did feel like you got some, like, extra flack in that moment. Because, I mean, let's be real, like... On the Sprinter van, Jenny kind of started that off with going like, yeah, but do we believe her? It was Heather, Heather that started the whole conversation, and then Jenny chimed By in. By the way, what about how yeah. quickly um, you forgave Jen Shaw after things got physical? What was your reaction to that? You know what? I, I got to say, I got to give you props, because, like, I feel like you were being a real friend to her and really nice. Thank you. And you could feel, like, I mean, she, she was like really in the sh emotionally yes. and I think you could sense like oh she needs help yeah it was yeah. definitely like she needed a friend at that point let me ask you this two um more current things that have happened Mary Cosby's mom came out and said that she thinks that Mary is a victim in her marriage what was your reaction to that I mean I think they have a very complicated family and I'm not a part of it and um I think based on the things Mary said it's different than that Thoughts on the posts that surfaced that Jenny had made on her Facebook a couple of years ago? I don't condone those, and I'm completely anti-racist, so, you know, I hope um, everyone does better. But I definitely don't condone those. Um, were they surprising to you, given you've known her for a while? Um, I've never looked at Jenny. I haven't looked at Jenny's Facebook page in years. Um, but I was totally surprised. I was very surprised. Um, all right. On the Righteous Gemstones, they were asked to invest in a Christian resort called Zion's Landing. <laughs> and at the end of the housewives trip to Zion, we're not sure who we left standing. Since Edie's been following all the drama, we are requesting she confessed all her thoughts. Despite her fully denying any part of it, do you truly believe Meredith had nothing to do with the feds knowing where Jen was on the fateful day? I actually do believe Meredith on this. I don't think she had anything to do with it. And I think that that night at dinner at the house in Zion, um, I think her reaction was real when she was like, wait, I wasn't on the Sprinter Man, so I did this? And that right. felt real to me. Um, reaction to Jen screaming that Meredith has 10 boyfriends. <laughs> I mean, 
thought that was pretty mean. Um, <laughs> do you know Meredith's 10 boyfriends? I do not. Does Meredith have 10 boyfriends? I have Did never she? talked to Meredith about anyone she's dated other than Seth. Uh, reaction to Jen and Lisa's sprinter van tussle. Who was in the wrong? Oh, I mean, <laughs> Judge Shaw was a <laughs> Okay, since you play a televangelist in uh, Righteous Gemstones, general thoughts on Mary as a spiritual leader oh. of the community? Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, it's a trip, because I have a lot of empathy for Mary. I feel like I can feel what she's trying to hold down. But, man, oh, man, the way it comes out sometimes is very jacked. Why do you think Mary is so quick to dismiss Jenny and her opinions when it comes to the group? Yo, real talk, I think she's threatened by Jenny. I think that um, Jenny is funny and fun and, like, is an easier slide into a friendship group than maybe Mary is. And I think Mary is experiencing, like, some old school, like, junior high left out feelings. Oh, that's so interesting. Uh, since they went hiking tonight, which wife is the likeliest to survive if stranded in the wilderness? I think maybe Heather. Uh, Heather? <laughs> yeah. What are the odds that Lisa and Whitney let bygones be bygones and build a genuine friendship? I think actually high. I think it's a high, high percentage chance. Thoughts on Meredith's eclectic fashion choices this season? <laughs> I, I love them. I think she is, like, looks very genuinely hot in all her outfits. Um, your thoughts on the, the reaction to the reunion outfits were very poor. What, what Did you think they looked better in person? Um, defend the reunion outfits. Defend the reunion outfits. <laughs> I think everyone picked what they felt comfortable in. Okay. It was true to their style. Okay. Yes. Um, general thoughts <laughs> on everything. I actually loved my dress. Um, I, I did too. General thoughts on everything that's happening with Jen Shaw. Do you believe she's innocent? I actually do. And I, like... I don't know if that's just because I want to, but I actually do believe she's innocent. Let me ask you this. Lisa Barlow's sister dated her husband, John. Yep. Lisa Barlow is quite confident that they never had sex. What do you think? I think, she, <laughs> I think she's right. I think that they kissed twice. All right. Yeah. Thank you very thank much. You. I would not. John and I would not be together. Okay. I don't share. In that this way. next game, Lisa will probably want to call at least four of her lawyers, but I can tell you right now, <laughs> there'll be no pleading to fit. Lisa, I'm going to present you with a list of questions, and then we're going to make you choose between Meredith and Jen. Oh. Okay. Who did you leave the reunion feeling closer to? Neither. Neither? Can I say? Can we? You can say neither. Neither. Yeah. Wow. Whose outlandish reunion outfit do you, did you prefer between the two of them? Jen's. Jen's feathers. Yay. Yeah, Jen's. Like, I thought it was really pretty in person, and, like, when she stood up, I think that was an amazing dress for standing and probably hard to sit in. Uh, who's more likely to lie straight to someone's face? <laughs> That's a good question. <sighs> I'm going to say Jen. Uh, who talks more mess about the other women in the group? Jen. Uh, who has a better business sense? Meredith. Uh, who would you sooner trust with the secret? Meredith. Who do you Yay. think has the higher freak number? Freak in the sheet. Ty. Ty. <laughs> Whose temper frightens you more? Meredith. Wow. Yeah. So not Jen, who almost well, beat the sh of you in a sprint. No, no, because it's a like they both have a temper. I mean, you saw both of them yelling at me. I think Meredith. I'm like, wow, because. You know what she said, like, don't mess with Meredith. So, probably Meredith. Um, who do you have more dirt on? Neither. Uh, whose marriage do you feel will last the longest? Seth and Meredith. Uh, That's actually, I think, Sharif and Jen, too. Can we say Ty? Ty. Sure. Yay. Ty. Yes. <laughs> who's more loyal to her friends? They are different, but I think probably Meredith. Okay. I would, let me just change that, Meredith. Okay. Yes. Yay! All right. I thank, think I'm thinking through these. I'm yeah, good. Thinking. That's important. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you very much, Lisa Barlow. Coming up. Thank you, Allison. You can come
know, you're trying to play it in BJ's head when you're all, oh, we could have stayed at the mansion. There's so many rooms at the mansion. <sighs> you're being serious right now? I just wanted to see your house. I'm not trying to make fights. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want to tell you that I know the score. Siblings have to hate siblings' spouses. My brothers hate BJ too. <laughs> wow. Lisa Barlow is so good on the Rose Cash. That was a clip from Rachel Gemstone starring Edie Patterson. Check it out Sundays at 10 on HBO and HBO Max. Welcome back to Watch What Happens Live. It's Andy in the Clubhouse also joined by Lisa Barlow. Over the Miles from Red King Bakery. Uh, Greg, you're a big Lisa Barlow fan. Do you count Lisa Barlow's in your sleep? All the time. The same way that Edie does, actually. Um, her face superimposed over sheep over and over again. Do you have a question for Lisa? Um, can I be a fresh wolf? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Drinking game reminder. Anytime you hear this word, drink until you're as happy as Lisa was when Heather found her fingernail. <laughs> By the way, um, we, how much, do you guys improvise a lot on Righteous Gemstones? A fair amount, um... Yeah, well, well, yeah, we always get it as written, and then there's a point where we'll start playing around a little bit. Right. Yeah. Um, it looks so fun. Thanks. I mean, yeah, it it's like really you're fun. having fun. Right? We are having a yeah. really good time, and yeah, everyone really digs each other, which is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to our virtual audience, Carly and Connell from Miami. What's your question for Lisa? Hi, baby, gorgeous. Hey. <laughs> oh, Lisa. Do you think Meredith and Jen actually hooked up with a sea of guys, and that's why they're so at odds? Neither one of them has ever told me anything about that. Um, I learned about it the same time you guys did, but I don't think they did. Did you ask I... Meredith about it? No. You didn't? No. Did you ask Jen about it? No. Okay. Here's Aaron from Alaska with a question for Edie. Judy from the Righteous Gemstones is the perfect Real Housewife. What do you think her tagline would be? Oh, what would her tagline be? Um, <clears throat> Jesus may be an immaculate conception, but I'm my daddy's ejaculate perfection. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know that I've ever heard ejaculate perfection. Yeah, it, it, I don't think it's a thing. But I think it's now. Really a thing. It I think it's really like hashtag ejaculate perfection. Yes, wow. Yeah, like a really cool modeling shot. Yeah, ejaculate perfection. Yes. <laughs> wow. Um, Lisa Miranda T said, "How could Meredith say she had an immense amount of compassion for Jen when she took a bubble bath during Jen's arrest?" <laughs> No, you don't. I think I think that um, no, I don't think so. I think that she was like, you know, she had told all of us no one believed anything I was saying for the last, you know, basically year and a half about Jen. And like, this is kind of proving me right. So I think she was going through a myriad of emotions. But in that moment, no. There's something coming up in next week's episode that I have to assume that you're not looking forward to airing. No. Right. Yeah, not at all. Are you? I, f I mean, I regret my poor choice of words over and over again. Okay. Like it made me really sad. But those were real emotions. I was really, really upset, and it took a lot to get me to that point. Right. And once I got to that point, that's why I left the table. Okay. Because I needed private space, okay. which I didn't get. Yes. <laughs> you were mic'd. Yeah. I mean, I was um, hoping someone got to call the Well, well it's, um, it's... Close. Okay. <laughs> um, I think forever, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, oh I love it. Yeah, yeah. She's amazing. Oh, dude, she's amazing. And <laughs> yeah. she's so nice to me and is, like, a friend to me. And, uh, yeah, still. He's still, if she, like, messages me, I'm like, oh, like my phone oh, gets hot. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah, your phone rings hot. Yeah. Uh, tonight's episode, we saw Meredith wake up the group with a morning meltdown where she mentioned it all, including the CIA. But to win this game, my guest should pray she stays MIA. Let's play. Go! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
asking Lisa and Edie Salt Lake City <laughs> trivia <laughs> questions. But beware for every wrong answer, Meredith will disengage from sleep from rage oh, no. on screen on Edie and Angie's <laughs> casino yeah. night party earlier this season. Who did Lisa Barlow snub upon arrival? At the casino night party? Yeah. Um, oh, Mary? No, it was Whitney. Oh. Perhaps it's best that she keep her mouth shut. <laughs> okay, Lisa, what color is Mary's living room carpet that her colorblind dogs mistake for grass? Green. It is green. Green. Yes. What's the name of Jack and Henry Barlow's hair care company? Mm, um, Jack Lowe. Okay, Lisa, what was the numerical amount of money that Whitney invested in her Wild Rose Beauty rebrand? I would have to say 300 grand. Yes, very good. I like it. It. Uh, Edie, what is Lisa's favorite fast food taco from Del Taco? Fish taco or carnitas taco? Carnitas. <laughs> Fish taco, Meredith. I can't listen to the projecting reflecting line anymore. They're so good, too. I can't really. <laughs> I say I'm really enjoying them. I kind of wonder yeah. if she's getting it wrong, so I yeah, exactly. Lisa, in Vail, what breakfast item did Whitney prepare for Mary that Mary then zapped in the microwave to kill any of Whitney's bacteria left on it? Biscuit or eggs? Eggs? Yes. Wow. Edie, yeah. how old did Seth Marks turn when he was gifted with a cake resembling uh, his wife's friend Whitney Rose's breasts? 49. Very good. <laughs> By the way, do, do you think that Seth's obsession with Whitney's breasts is odd in any way? I think he's just joking. I honestly think that's like Seth's humor. I don't think he really cares about Whitney's moves. I think it's funny for him to just say it. I have some thoughts on yeah. that. Oh. Well, tell me. I think that um, the obsession is kind of hilarious and fine and jokey. When he like um, did major fast tongue motions on me. Ooh, that was gross. That was intense. <laughs> it made me go, huh. Maybe there's a lot more to this than I thought. Do you know what the answer is anymore? I need answers. I knew you were going to wake me up by saying Sorry. that. Thank you very much for playing. When we come back, we're going to have this new hand looking up and fly. Cake is pretty good. Oh, peanut butter, buttercream, pretzels on the inside. I know what I'm having oh. after the show. It's like breakfast. Uh, Lisa, Elise Mowry uh, wants to know why you were as silent as a church mouse when Jan attacked Meredith at the Zion dinner. Aren't you best friends? I wasn't silent. Meredith had a couple panic attacks during the dinner, and I would get up and comfort her. And um, during that little um interaction i was just listening to what was being said but i mean we that went on for hours uh christina l emailed Edie. uh who's your favorite real housewife of all time <laughs> man your goat i have to go with like what makes me scream the most and what makes me laugh the most and um like i can't stop screaming at ramona ever oh, okay. <laughs> yeah Ramona I mean, is she your... is shocking to me continuously. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that is true. That's true. Lisa, not to keep harping on the thing of your sister uh, dating John Barlow, but what was the length of time between those two situations? Oh, years. John was married before me, too, so John got married. Oh, yeah. So I'm John's Wait, second but... wife. Really? Yeah. So and he, John she is got a married. Mormon. John's a Mormon. They but how is he a Mormon and he's divorced? Isn't that? Oh no, no. That's I, we covered that already, right? Like you can Remind get to, you can be Mormon and get divorced. You're not like you can. Yep, you absolutely can. I ha I'm one of six kids. Four of my siblings are divorced. My parents are divorced. We're not like excited about it, but right. it happens. Is your whole family Mormon? My whole family, con my immediate family converted my parents. From and Judaism to Mormon. By, we never, pra we're Jewish by heritage. We never practiced, we were never right. religiously Jewish. Got it. But I love my two genes. 
Yeah. My best jeans. Okay. All right. Wow, that was a lot to adjust. Uh, it is time for Watch What Happens 5. In honor of one of our favorite Lisa Barlow isms. Can I touch? I counted down the top five things that I would love to touch. Besides that pretzel, peanut butter, chocolate cake. Number five is a lady who scholars say is in pretty good condition for her age. It's the Mona Lisa. Can I touch? Touching number four would probably land me behind bars, but it would be a crowning achievement. It's the Queen of England. I want to touch her. The number three thing I'd like to touch is the texture of my skin from my 20s. Yes. Miss you, soft skin. I don't just want to touch number two. I want to keep it. It's one million dollars in cold hard cash. And the number one thing I'd like to touch is Tyler Cameron. <laughs> I want to thank Lisa, Edie, and Greg for being here in the world. He said it's his time. He's the one who's looking for no driving. Shout out to the man Sierra. Go to Twitter live now for our after show. Thanks, ladies.